Usually we do a speed round, we're doing a weed <laughs> round. Uh, this is like having Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig uh, for a, a weed round. Uh, I call Babe Ruth. <laughs> Seth, Yo. most surprising celebrity you've smoked pot with? I'm going to say, and he's in the movie, uh, and it's a shout out to Sausage Party, Edward Norton. <laughs> Edward Norton? Yeah. That's great. You want to answer that? Or yeah, not? you know, I don't have a surprising person, but I have a cool person, like the... Most epic time, I think, was I got on Willie Nelson's bus. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, and it was interesting time because he's like Ty Cobb. I, yeah. I, yeah, I was uh, I was playing in the NFL, so I was being drug tested twice a week. So I had to be careful about you know how I did this, and uh, it was embarrassing. He smoked me under the bus. <laughs> bad, bad. I was crawling off the bus. The end of was the he day. awesome? He was. That's Favorite it. way to smoke weed? I smoke joints. I'm a blunt guy. Nice. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> have you ever smoked synthetic marijuana? I have not. No. Isn't that really no. dangerous? Yeah, it's, it's like what you end up you with taking your clothes you, off. And, yeah. Why would you smoke fake stuff when you get that? Yeah, it's so weird. I don't get that at all. Okay. It's really dangerous, though, right? It's like bath salts. It's, yeah. it's led to a couple of sports incidents where they've kind of had to dance around what happened, but it's always somebody who was like on seven synthetic in the morning marijuana. is running around in the street with what happens. poop in his pants. <laughs> uh, that was one time. <laughs> <laughs> if you could smoke with one former president or current president, who would you pick? Uh, that's a good question. Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt? Yeah. He just was, it seemed like a, a cool, wild guy. I agree, yeah. Said, Teddy Roosevelt did seem cool. <laughs> yeah. The Rough Riders? Yeah. Is that, yeah. yeah. I'm a, as a DMX fan, I'm going to go with Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even think about going that historically. Yeah. I, I feel like Bill Clinton would be fantastic. He'd break out the yeah. sax, start babbling about movies. Uh, that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been stoned and thought, I hope this guy pulls out a saxophone right now. <laughs> but be more fascinated yeah. to watch a former president. That would be, uh, <laughs> never entered my head. <laughs> strangest edible form you've ever had weed in. So I used to I used to cook stir fry with it. I used, to, I used to put it in butter and use the butter to saute the vegetables and do stir fry. That's awesome. You're not beating that. No, I actually have a. When I was a kid in high school, there was a a, a place run out of someone's basement that was an all you can eat weed food buffet. And you would pay 10 bucks and go into just some person's basement, and there was the weirdest collection of motherfuckers in there. I remember that was the first time I smoked weed with like a 65-year-old person. Um, and yeah, you would pay and they would put out like nachos with weed in them and salad with like weed vinaigrette dressing and like pizza with like weed baked into the cheese. It was it was incredible. Like uh, it was actually really, really amazing. Now, a guy yesterday gave me a, a bottle of of chicken wing sauce. With weed in it? With weed in it. Oh, that sounds great. Teriyaki garlic. That's awesome. Yeah. Teriyaki with weed. <laughs> Best song ever about weed. Hmm. I well, think, well, some songs, you know, they're they're allegorical or metaphorical. Um, and so the rumor or the, the word on the street is it's about. Yeah. And so I'd say uh, D'Angelo Brown Sugar. Uh, that's the best my one. favorite. Yeah. It's true. I'm it's a big a Cypress Hill fan. They have a lot of good weed songs. But I'm okay. gonna say "Hits from the Bong" is my favorite song about weed. <laughs> it's a classic. Best stoner movie? <laughs> um, Half Baked. Half Baked. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That was like the first stoner movie that lived up to what, like, because growing up smoking weed, you like you watch Cheech and Chong and stuff, and like, and for its time, I, it was amazing, but. You know, it it did not age incredibly well for our generation. And then I remember seeing Half Baked and being like, wow, this is like a movie that really speaks to my weed smoking sensibilities. I think Bob Saget put that movie over there. Yes, okay. I used to suck dick I was for like, crack. I was like, is that, is that Bob Saget? <laughs> you ever suck dick for marijuana? One of the greatest lines ever in movie history to this day. Uh, one movie that's better if you're watching it when you're stoned. Seth, you're I can't name a movie that's question. not better. When I'm, <laughs> that's, every movie is better. <laughs> Have you ever seen a movie and thought, I wish I wasn't stoned right now while I'm watching this? That's never happened to me. <laughs> I, I remember in college, I was at a friend's house and we smoked and we watched Tommy Boy. And I right. laughed my ass off. And I was thought, I don't remember laughing this hard, enjoying this movie as much when I wasn't. So yeah. that's, that's my funny. experience where I really noticed that it was much funnier. I was living in Boston when I think Austin Powers 2 or Austin Powers 3 uh -huh. came out. We went, we had the times wrong, and we got stoned before we went into the theater. But we were we were early by an hour. Oh, yeah. So we went to go see some Adam Sandler movie. It was like Mr. Deeds or something. And we were in there, and I, I smoked too much, and I started to get paranoid. 
and I started thinking about it. if I died in this theater right now, all my friends would be like, why did he go to that movie? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> and then I was thinking about that, and I was, and I was like, oh my God, we gotta get out. I don't, I don't wanna die in the, yeah. I freaked out. I, I took shrooms and saw the first Matrix movie when it came out. Oh, that's theaters. not a good idea. No, it was a horrible idea. It was, uh, and it was, yeah, I, re I instantly regretted it. I didn't know what was happening. I got lost. It was in one of these like giant, like 27 theater megaplexes. And I had like, I wound up in 10 things I hate about you. <laughs> I hallucinated my friend was making out with the girl I liked and I yelled at them and then walked out of the theater and it was not happening in any way, shape or form. It was a really dark day for me. <laughs> um, all right, this last question, most important. When you're too high, is there a method to deal with it? Yeah, eat, is there anything you've found that's worked? Eating, eating helps, I think. I think you food, I find food makes me less high. Okay. Sugar and, or sleep? Sugar. Sugar. What does sugar do? It makes your body process things faster, so you come down. So, like, what to do if you get way too high is, it's kind of tough, but you take like a half a cup of sugar, you might have to chase it with water, or sleep, you just get in the bed. That's great. Well, thanks, guys. I don't know if I'd ever want to do another weed round. It won't be better than this one.